Welcome back to the Red Pride Thundercast. Today we will talk about the PHS Christmas shows and we will dive right into the Thunder co Zone coverage and talk about the upcoming Bo PHS Boys Basketball schedule and plan and of course talk about college sports and maybe and and maybe even a and even maybe a very special new topic. Let's start off with the PHS Christmas shows. I I was a part of the I was a part of this past weekend's Christmas concerts. To recap, the Friday evening concert went okay. It was a little rough for our first show. The Saturday matinee was, was really rough. There was a ton of mistakes, and we were late for the song after intermission. I did I did not do good at all uh, at all for that one. After that, we had to stay and eat lunch and then go perform again. After we ate, which I ate too much, we had to put on our outfits. Uh, the Saturday evening concert went, went really, really well. And now, it's time for the moment you've been waiting for. During the concerts, there were high school basketball games on. I was able to get updates on playing field in the Martinsville game. The first quarter was a slow start for the Quakers, but started to heat back up for the rest of the game. The Quakers beat Martinsville 75-52. to other scores for, from Friday were Avon, 68, Tarot South, 55, Ben Davis, 57, Franklin Central, 53, Danville, 55, and Southmont, 49, and then Evansville, Monroyal, 53, and Jasper, 37, and then Noblesville and Carmel, 59 to 34. Noblesville picked that up, and then Speedway defeated Monrovia, 68 to 62. Then on Saturday, Plainfield visited Zionsville, and Plainfield showed up and decided to punch them in the mouth, and they win 64-46 to against the Eagles. Other, other Saturday scores were Berg, 36, and Chesterton, 33. Covenant Christian, 87. Traders Point Christian, 43. What a score. Danville, 59, Harrison, 57, Mitchell, 60, Salem, 32, South, and then South Putnam, 68, and, and, and Eminence, 24. And here is the plan for the Kogmo tourney. The rest of the season will go by quick for the Plainfield Boys basketball team. Next week, Plainfield has the Kogmo tour tournament. For the tournament, the boys will have to save the night up there. Here are the day one matchups. New Haven will face Kokomo. Then it is South Bend Riley versus Mishawaka. Then it is Mount Vernon and your Plainfield Quakers. And then, and finally, Warren Central versus Jeffersonville. After the first games, we will have the loser games. Loser game one and. Eh, loser game one and six. At, loser game one at six. And game two at 7.45. The next day is the championship and the consolation games. Now for college sports, I think it is fit, fitting to reveal my favorite college, uh, college to watch and my favorite college in total. My favorite college is Indiana Wesleyan University. And my favorite college to watch are the Purdue Boilmakers. This college basketball season is crazy. Purdue is still ranked. And now, time for the very special uh, thing, which is the new topic. Hendricks County Tourney. This was not on the list, but I think we should talk about it. The tournament schedule has been released. Brasburg plays Avon Wild. Danville plays Cascade on the 2nd of January. Then on the 5th, we have the second round slash semis. Plainfield hosts either Burger or Avon Wild. Tri-West hosts either Danville or Cascade. On the 8th, we have the loser games and the championship at 8 p.m. All these games, I mean, all the games, or the loser games and the championship game will be in Danville. And once again, thanks for listening to the Red Pride Thundercast. Next week, Red Pride, uh, next week, Ben Wiederholt will be back to discuss more of your favorite topics. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. I'm Nick Thunder Green, and let's go Quakers!